This is a message for today. You know. I've always felt naturally the presence of God in my life, but there was a couple years, specifically between about 16 to 18, where that was probably the least present in my life at those times. And I learned valuable, great lessons within those times. Why is it that when things go so wrong in life, that's when people turn to God? When things are going so wrong, that's when people turn to God. And as soon as things are going so right, everything changes. Oh, the party begins. Everything's going so well. Oh, you can never lose sight. You can never lose sight of what's important. Ever. I will personally remain humble, remain grounded, remain structured, disciplined, and focused. And I will always put first things first. And that will never lose sight. And everyone who's close to me will be the exact same way. Otherwise, you're not going to be close to me. And that's how it's going to go. Because if people's close to you and they're living in their wicked ways, you will get drug into wicked ways. That's what happened to me. I didn't see what was happening until it was happening. It's never who I was, but there I was in between about 16 to 18. My life took a huge downward spiral. Just when you think you're doing the right thing, just when you think talking to that hot girl is the answer, just when you think you have all the best friends on earth, having the best times of your life, Smoking a bit of weed, enjoying yourself, having some drinks, all these fun, amazing times, right? Just when you think it, everything turns upside down. And nothing, not one damn thing was what you thought it was. All of a sudden, you're no longer who you even were. And now you got to fight to get back to that. And that's exactly what I did after 18. And I never lost sight of who I was after that. I never took anyone's word for what they said. I listened to myself. I did not follow nobody. I did not listen to nobody. I shouldn't say nobody. I listened to who I wanted to listen to. Which was not one single person from where I came from. I listened to people online. I listened to people on YouTube. At 18, 19. I think the work started at about, and the changes that I made started at about 18 and a half. And by 19, I was starting to cut pretty much everybody off. And it slowly happened within the next about year, year and a half. It slowly happened. I realized Facebook was useless. Started unfriending everybody from high school and all that kind of stuff and all all of a sudden, I was down to about 50 people left when I had over a 1,000 friends. And then I was like, why do I even have this again? Delete. And then I made my own new Instagram account, which I still have today. And I started my own journey, doing the things I wanted to do, not care what nobody else thought. And this is a story of my life, guys. You're literally hearing it. I am where I am today. It's because I followed my true self. After getting so deeply wounded. From being led astray. From believing in the lies. I ended up wounded. I was the furthest away from God. 
I made the mistake once. And I'll never make it again. I'm I'm on I'm I'm on close to 10 years of the reflection of perfection. Nothing's going to stop me. Nothing's going to get in my way. Nothing's going to lead me astray and all of a sudden I'm screwed. I am the leader. And this is what you have to know about yourself. You're the leader. As long as you're doing things the right way, you're the leader. You're not following nobody else. You're not listening to society. You're not listening to mainstream. If you're listening to anything else, it's what you want to listen to. You pick. You don't got to be around nobody, bro. You don't got to be around family. You don't got to be around friends. You don't got to be around that hawk girl that you think is so good for you at that time. You don't got to be around any of that. You do need your best self. You do need your best self. And you need it more than you'll ever know. You need it you, you need it more than anything else on earth. And a part of being your best self is a part of being with God as well. It goes hand in hand. Because if you're not being the best version of yourself, you're not as close to God as you think. I still, to this day, have work to do. There's things I kind of want to get better at. Sometimes I'll curse and I don't mean to. I want to stop. I want to try to stop completely. Something else I notice. There's certain people sometimes you talk to. And you, you feel like letting one out more than usual. Are these people you should really be talking to? That's the questions I'm starting to ask myself as well. Probably not. Probably not. It's about self-awareness, bro. That's what's important. Correcting yourself is very powerful. When you've done something and you knew it was wrong almost right away, that's very powerful. Most people do doing clown stuff all the time and they'll never correct themselves, not even once. They don't care. If I told you guys some of the things that people have done before that I've seen, it would blow your mind. Just at how stupid and crazy it is. Like ridiculous things. They laugh about it. They don't care. And it's completely crazy and ridiculous things. Like really bad things too. So unnecessary. So dirty. They don't care. They laugh at it. They simply do not care. They'll never crack themselves. They'll never check themselves. They'll forever be stranded in life. No matter what happens to them, it's not going to humble them. I've gotten humbled. I have gotten humbled. I'll never be at a point in my life, oh, I'm so amazing, so successful. Look at me, da-da-da-da-da. Never. You could lose anything. You could die right now. What you have don't even exist. It's temporary. It don't even matter. It really don't even matter, bro. Like, you could gain private jets, limousines, limousine riding, jet wheeling, dealing and wheeling, and Ric Flair kissing, banging, stealing, whatever you want to talk, whatever you want to think. You could have that much. You could gain that much. You could lose everything. That's life. Anything could happen to anybody. That's the humbleness. That's the place you should come from. 
the odds of losing everything is not high. The odds of gaining everything is higher than the odds of losing everything you have. Depending on who you are, I guess, but... Always remain humble. Always remain grounded. It doesn't mean you can't be confident. You should be confident. I'm confident. I believe in myself. Some people take that as air. Oh, he's so arrogant. <laughs> okay, buddy. Thanks for gaslighting me again. I can't speak the truth. I can't tell the truth. People mistaken the two. That's the problem. And it's just haters. Gaslighting your mind. Haters are the best at that, bro. You could literally... <laughs> You will be one way and they'll say you're the other. Like you could genuinely be one way. And they'll say you're not that way. They'll say you're the other way. What? How? They can't tell you how. They make it up. They think whatever they want and say whatever they want, even if it's not true. Because they're haters. What they want to believe, it's what's real in their minds. Because if they were to know the real truth and accept that, it would hurt them so bad. Cause a little injury inside of them, wouldn't it? Because they cannot handle the truth. And yeah, man, I've learned so many lessons in life and I share this with you guys and... I don't want you guys to make the same mistakes. I want you guys to really learn. And do the right things, make the right decisions. Even if you have one amazing, great year in life, it don't matter. You're not even that person anymore. Life goes on. It's a new year. It's a new you. Who you were five years ago does not exist. Who you are right now exists in this current moment, but in a year, it won't exist. Things will be different. You will be different. Different things will be happening. <laughs> People don't see it this way. Because they don't change. When you change, this is the reality of how things are. And like I said, it, it usually takes catastrophic things for people to repent to God, to turn to God. If you pay close attention, it's when people's going through the craziest stuff, then they turn to God because they have no one else to turn to. That's what happens. No matter who you gain in your life by your side, and I have, I have done that before, but I have learned. So many bad things happen, bro. I lost the girl. I lost friends. I lost so many things. I was so hurt. I was so frustrated. I could not show up to hang out with any of my friends. I would literally, the, the second, it, it sounds funny now, but like the second, I can look back and laugh at this stuff now, but like the second I walked in the door, I would literally cry. And bro, I was not a soft, I was not a soft lad. That's how bad things hurt. Me in the past. That's how bad it was at one point in my life. I damn near cut my fingers off. Like I, I told you guys this already. Like these two right here. On my right hand. My pinky and ring finger. And after all this kind of stuff happened bro. It changed me. Like instantly. I got so manipulated. So conned. I got so lied to. And at those times, I realized what was real and what was not. I had to lose everything to become who I'm supposed to be. That's when I turned to God. I lost sight of it. I always felt like I had his presence in my life when I was young. And for those couple years, it got lost. And you don't notice it until it happens. And it's like, you can't even be alone. 
you can't even be alone in your thoughts. It's, it's just like nothing makes sense. The whole world, it feels like it's coming to an end. But it does not feel like that at all when you have his presence. It does not matter who comes into my life and who exits. The same thing stays the same. Everything remains as it is. Without that, it's not the case. You're dependent on human beings. If she walks out, your whole world crashes down. If you lose your friends, oh my God, goodness sake. But when you have his presence, none of that stuff matters. Because you got God. I only need to learn one time. I'm not a stupid person. And I'm not a slow learner. I learn fast. I got experience very fast and very early on in life. And I take things personally when they happen. Very personally, like the right things will happen after this. I'm not going to go and, oh, seek other flesh again and human beings. Let's say I lose this girl, lose the friends. Oh, where's my other friends? I need friends. I need another girl. This and that, that and this. I didn't do none of that. I stayed grounded. I started to move the way I should have moved myself. I didn't seek out flesh. I didn't seek out nobody else. It took strength. It took me shedding tears. It took me standing in front of a TV with the laptop and HDMI cord hooked up, watching motivational videos, hearing all this truth, shedding tears, going outside, running, feeling every ounce of being alive, feeling every ounce of myself, getting God back into my life and feeling confident again when no one else is around. That's what I've done. Not many people have that in them to do that kind of stuff, bro. Not many people do. And you will be hated on, bro. In this modern society today, you will be hated on for being that confident, for being that type of a person. Because it's unheard of today. People my age, people younger, huh. Joke. Not none of them are like me, bro. Like, when I say none, almost none. That's what we mean. Almost none. They're all lost in the sauce. They're all lost in the clouds. When things happen to them, they're very hurt. They're very damaged. I've been there. The difference between me, the difference between them is I learn fast. I'm not going to make the same mistakes again. And some people continue to just follow the flesh. Instead of following themselves, instead of finding God and coming to peace. And then it does not matter what happens or what does not happen because you're never going to lose sight of that. You're never going to get so consumed in the flesh again that you lose everything. You will lose your damn mind. You'll lose your damn soul. You'll lose God. And then you have to get that back. You're going to have to go through a lot of pain to make that happen. I did it. Most people can't. And that's what I'm saying. Why is it that when catastrophic things happen, that's when people turn to God? Like, I get it. It's understandable, but lesson learned. We have to learn not to be that way and to keep that connection and relationship with God forever. Never lose sight of it. I don't care who you're married to. I don't care what relationship you're in. I don't care what friend group, what friends group you have. I've actually gotten closer myself to, to certain individuals today. But I'm never going to lose sight of who I am and the things that matter. Never. I'm always going to take time for myself and that too is so very important. Because if you don't, you're not going to be you. You're going to get lost in flesh. You're going to get lost in certain ways of others. If you're surrounded by others like 24-7, you will lose yourself. You will. You always have to come back to, it's like a baseline. It's like, it, it, it's like, it's like hitting a home run. If you don't go around all the way to the bases, you don't land home, you don't score a point. Let's say you, you, you hit a single, you hit a double, you hit a triple. You're going to see a friend right now. You're on base. 
You have to come all the way back around to home again. You can't just stay on base where the friends are. You have to come all the way back home to score a point. That's where base is. That's the whole point. It's like that reset button. It's like going around the board of Monopoly. You don't get the goal money unless you go all the way around the board. You don't want to be in jail on that game either. It's about being smart, bro. It's about having experience, being smart. I never lacked that. I have never lacked that in my life. I was simply a young human being that was obviously thrown into this world, born, and I had to learn lessons like we all do. The beautiful thing about me and what I love about myself is that I learn very fast. I can't speak for nobody else. That's who I am. That's what I do. If something's wrong, I have to fix it immediately. It bugs the hell of me if I can't fix something. It bugs me to death. I have to fix it. If something's wrong, it has to be fixed. If there's a problem with this friendship, it has to be fixed. I want to come face to face and talk. If something's wrong with this relationship, all these games going on, uh, let's talk. Let's talk. What's going on? I'm not going to play these little games and I'll pretend like something's happening when it's not and all this crazy stuff. I say things like they are, I'm very direct. And that's how you have to be. You have to be very direct. And a lot of people, they are not direct. They want to play their little game so they can get what they can get from you or, or whatever. That girl you're talking to, guess what? She's going to play all these little games to get what she wants. She don't care what she wants. It's about what she wants. They got to get cut off. I don't care what type of female you're talking to, bro. They got to get cut off. Gone. Because there's no conversating. When it gets real, they fold. Because they don't want what's real. They don't want nothing to do with a fair game. They want what they want. And na, 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 na. Immature. You cannot talk to them. You, you can't come to a conclusion. They don't even want that, bro. There's so many people today that just want to have the upper hand over you to manipulate you. To get what they want. These little short little things they can get from you. These little short term little wins. Let me spend a season with this guy and make it seem like it's going to be forever. Whatever the hell. Whatever's going to happen. You got to be careful in this world, bro. You got to be careful. The people I trust the most is people I have the deepest conversations with. And it's it's proof. The fact that you can have a deep conversation with someone and you, like, and there's really good stuff being said. That is at least some proof in itself. Those people tend to be more trustworthy from my experience. People you can actually have deep conversations with and who's willing to talk it out. Those are the people you can talk to and feel at peace with. As for the rest, they're playing the little games, whatever, whatever they're doing. <sighs> Laughable. It's really hard not to laugh. And it's funny too, because they think they're being smart. They, they, they think they're fooling you, bro. You're just not telling them what you know. That's the funny thing. You know lots, you're just not telling them. They're going to think what they want. They're not ready to hear that truth that you're about to tell them. They're not ready for it, bro. I honestly feel bad for a lot of people in, in, in the world today. I'm not going to lie. I would not want to be you, pal. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> I would not want to be you. At all. That sucks. And I'm not here, sitting here even trying to be mean. I'm just being really, really blunt, real. That's how gone some people are, bro. And the amount of work they would have to do to even come close to where they should be is ridiculous. 
it's going to take a lot. You have to put your whole life into it, bro. That's what a lot of people don't understand. You have to put your whole life into it. And the last thing I want to say in this video is to stay away from people who talk to you a certain kind of way that is just not respectful. Like they try so hard to just, it's hard to explain. Some people are just disrespectful and rude. You can't be nice with each other. You, you, you. It's not even about being, it's just about being a good person. It's about being a good man to, to one another. It's not about nice. It's just about being like a good man to one another. Like the respect, it's about respect. If that is not there and someone tries to talk to you some kind of way, bro, avoid those people at all costs. They're control hungry. They want to control you, bro. And you can feel it. You can feel it on these people when they try to do what they do to you. And you're probably a million times smarter than they are. Like a million times smarter. And these clowns are trying to say these things to you? What? <laughs> people be talking to you, bro, like, and it's like you're levels upon levels above them and self-improvement. In self discovery, in awareness. So, those are the individuals you want to cut off that will ruin your life. You just have to stay away from them because that's how they will act and behave towards you. They don't let you be you. They just like, they don't want to talk. They don't want to talk. They just want to be some way towards you. And it's so annoying. That's, that's all I can say. These are people you want to avoid. You want to focus on yourself for the most part. Get your energy correct. Get your life correct. Get everything together. Stop falling the flesh. You don't need a girlfriend. You don't need a boyfriend. You don't need a husband right now. You don't need a group of friends right now. You don't go to all these parties right now. Get good first. Come correct first. That's what you have to do. Don't make these mistakes where you're going to wait for everything to come crumbling down and that's when you're going to turn and repent and all this kind of stuff. Do it right now. Don't waste no more time. And let's hope you're already on that path. There's a lot of people watching this video that's probably not on that path. You should be on that path. You have to know who you are, bro. You have to really know who you are. Because if you don't, you will get disappointed. You'll never disappoint yourself if you know who you are. You never will. But you will be disappointed if you trust in the flesh. If you're following the flesh. If you're following these people and you don't follow yourself in your own lead. You will be disappointed. 